Hello everyone, uh, greetings of the day. This is a five part hematology analyzer. The model name is CBC 560 plus with RFID system. Now we will see uh, the accessories comes along with the instrument. Dalian 20 liter, LH lies uh, 500 ml, LD lies 500 ml, probe cleaner 50 ml, two fuse for the power safety, power cord, West tubings uh, and the dilute tubing, liquid vest container, user manual along with the warranty card and installation report. This is the back side of the instrument. We have a four USB connection for the keyboard and mouse connection, LAN connection, dilute tube connection, west, conne uh, west tube connection with the west sensor, power cord connection and on off switch. Now we will connect all the tubing connections and the power cord connection and we will switch on the instrument. This is the front side of the instrument. 14 inch large color screen display, sample aspiration switch, RFID card sensor, instrument status indicated. Before switching on the instrument, we will connect lice bottles in the instrument. We need to open the door. We need to open the caps from the zip lock. Green color bottle is LD lies. Red is LH lies. After placing the lasers, uh, we need to uh, off the door. Now we will switch on the instrument. After switching on the instrument, instrument will ask for the user ID and password. We will enter the user ID and password. Now we will log in the system. It will take five minutes to switch on the instrument. After place, uh, connecting all the reagents, we need to scan the card. Step to scan the card, go to the menu, service, maintenance, replace reagent. For the diluent, press diluent. Uh, Put the expiry date. Replace reagent. OK. Change. We need to uh, tap the card over here. After the beep sound, your reagent will be replaced. This uh, the same process we need to follow for the LD lies and LH lies. Now we will see the on screen menus. This is a result window. We will get a sample result over here. In the work list, we can add the patient information. In the LJ plot, we will get the LJ data. In the maintenance, uh, this is activity done by the engineer. We will explain you at the time of the installation. In the diluent, if you click on the diluent uh, on the pre diluted mode, it will give you a, a diluent results. In the CBC plus differential mode, we have a two different mode, CBC mode and CBC plus differential mode. In the CBC mode, we require 9.5 microliter of sample. In the CBC plus differential mode, we require 20 microliter of sample. We have a four blood uh, types, whole blood, pre-diluted uh, blood, capillary and the background check. In the print, we can uh, give a print from the here to the printer. In the exit, we can exit to the screen. Now we will see the lower bottom features. If any error comes, uh, it will indicate it in the bottom side and it will indicate it in the red color. 
and uh, here you will get a reagent status how many reagent is remaining LIS, if LIS is connected, this mode is activated and in the date and time, you will get a current date and time information. For the hematology analyzer, we require fresh EDTA whole blood sample. It should be mixed properly and we need to run in the instrument. Now we will start the sample running process. Before running the sample, uh, we need to mix the sample properly. Place the tube under the probe and we need to press the switch for the sample result. It will aspirate the sample. And after 16 seconds, we will get a result. After 60 seconds, we will get a result on a screen. Uh, in the left hand side, we will get a sample information and a patient information. Here, we will get a WBC and FIFR differential counts, RBC and the indices, platelet and the indices. Here, we will get a graphical uh, information about the result. Here, we will get a flags or error related to the sample information. In this graph, we will get a three histogram for the WBC, RBC and platelet. This is a USP of a product. In, this is 3D, 360 degree sc rotatable scattogram. Here we will get a exact information of a five part differential counts and we can check the sales population in this screen. After getting a result, if customer want to print, we need to connect an external printer. After connecting an external printer, we will click on a print button. It will automatically print the data. If you want to send a data through the LIS, we need to collect on a, we need to press a COM button. So it will say, uh, transfer the data to the system. If you want to check the patient information or the list of the patient, we need to cl uh, click on a patient list, then select your patient ID and you will get a patient information with the graphical representation. To switch off the analyzer, we need to go to the exit, shut down analyzer, OK. Now it will maintain, uh, it will show the message. Then we need to aspirate the probe cleaner, introduce the probe cleaner to the probe and press the button. Instrument will be switched off after 5 minutes and it will automatically of the power button.